So somebody wanted to know about digoxin toxicity and how it can come to neuropthalmology. And in the book, dig toxicity is often described as a dyschromatopsia for yellow, that everything looks yellow. And that's true. However, it also could be blue. So it can be yellow or blue. They see this yellow or blue tint. And an easy way to remember it is if you've ever gone to the museum and seen the artwork of Vincent van Gogh, you know that he has a predilection for these two colors, blue and yellow, like in Starry Starry Night, and also in his self-portraits, and also in his pictures of sunflowers. They're very vivid blues and yellows. And so yellow or blue is the distinctive symptom of digoxin toxicity. The levels actually don't correlate, and so you can order the levels, and if they're high or in the toxic range, great, but if they're not, it could still be dig toxicity without a toxic level. The only way to know for sure is to de-challenge the patient and then re-challenge them. Most people don't want to do the de-challenge. They often have normal exams otherwise. So this complaint of bilateral, simultaneous, yellow or blue vision in a patient on digoxin, you really should be thinking about dig toxicity. Although there are electrophysiologic tests you could do to try and support the hypothesis, most of the time it's just a clinical diagnosis where they just tell you things look yellow or things look blue. They're on digoxin. You can order the level, but the only way to know is to do the D challenge.